see what comes out. We a quick morning message for you guys. I know it's dark. We have October. Some of y'all could be born in October or December. Could be a Libra or a Scorpio or a Sag or a Capricorn. Or your person could be, okay? Your person is singing for you guys. Like I said yesterday, look, happy birthday. Yeah, some of y'all are born in this day. Your person is singing for y'all. Who is this? Look, twin flame soulmate. What? Your twin flame is calling for y'all this morning, singing for you guys. Your twin flame soulmate, okay? So, something about December. It's significant. Your person could be born December. You could be born in October. Your person could be born in October. You could be born December. Or you and your person could both be born in October and or december okay yeah your money is increased i'm getting your mood like some of y'all could have been moody maybe about money but i feel i ain't gonna lie i feel like money is going to be changing like y'all going to be so happy all right i see your twin flame soulmate connecting with y'all oh my god some of y'all i'm getting may win big bitcoin a, a reward what in bitcoin okay but your money is increasing i feel like your person could have been like also, like, singing for you to have, like, good energy or something like that, all right? Maybe your person singing for you is increase, helping increase your money. I feel like karmic energies are being released from you now. Okay, I'm back. Let me hurry up. This is just a quick message. But, yeah, your person singing for you is helping, like, your money increase. Like, he could be praying for you or she could be, but karmic energies are being released out of your energy now. Some of y'all could be an Aries, sun, moon, rising. Y'all could have Aries prominent in your chart. All right, listen, Aries, some of y'all intuition could have been blocked, or this could be a karmic masculine. Look, chakra, chakra. I feel like you was with a masculine, karmic masculine in your recent past. He kept your intuition blocked, and you wasn't even feeling like being with him anymore. You don't have to say any emotions because he was lying on you. And I feel like this karmic was also lying on your intuition online, on you in the sense of what they was feeling about you. Yeah, they are not intuitive like you. This karmic masculine, he could be an Aries. Okay, but I'm just getting an emperor. He is, y'all can't even see the words. I tried, though, whatever. He's lying on his intuition. They're, intu they're not intuitive like you. He tries to be like you intuitively. He And then he's he's saying you're lying. Your spiritual goons are on his neck. I feel like he was doing spell work on you. He's trying to hide that from you. He could still be doing spell work. He could still be praying on your downfall and trying to pray to get you back. But we just picked up your twin flame soulmate. So y'all had uh, this karmic energy. That is being released. I was saying like this December something's going to happen to a karmic. All right. I just see because when I heard karmic energies clearing December. All right. I saw something happening. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like they're going to like have a fall or something like that. But I feel like something's going to happen to them this December. And it's going to like fully release that karmic energy. Like don't think like they're still going to be attached to you the way that they were. But like no. That karmic energy is just going to completely just be gone. All right, like, you're not going to hear from them by the end of this the end of this year. You ain't going to hear about the karmic no more. Just know that. I feel like by the time this end of the year come, you ain't going to be feeling the karmic energy like that. Let's just say that. All right, you better pray, karmic. Yeah, something's coming for them this December. It could be the little Christmas gift or present circling back around. Whatever gift they have for you is circling back around to them. This could be a karmic brother or sister. I'm here. You could be that. All right, I don't know. Some of y'all cross-watching for a divine being. And you being karmic towards your divine brother or sister here. You could be a Cancer Moon. I'm here specifically, or just a Cancer period. Some of y'all could have been Applebee's recently. All right, anything else, Spirit? I'm going to stop at like six minutes. Your twin flame so may sing it for you. Burn a white candle, a seven day jar. Okay, that'll be good for you guys. Okay, to help clear your energy. If you have been feeling like your intuition blocked and all that extra stuff. All right, or if you've been feeling like your chakra being attacked, burn a white candle. For some of you guys, I did pick up, like, y'all could have been feeling intuitively blocked. I was picking up for Aries, but that could be for any of you guys. All right, if you're still feeling this karmic energy attached to you, connecting with you, burn a white candle to, like, purge that energy here. Some of y'all could have went out to Chili's recently. You can't see someone around you don't believe in spirit. Y'all could have went out to eat with this ex. In the past, a recent past, and this ex don't believe in the spirit, at least not the way that you do. Like, yeah, they was doing spell work and stuff to control you, but they don't believe in the spirit. Like, they, they're like, I don't believe a spirit can control me. 
I don't believe a spirit can show you things, guide your life, because that's not what's happening to them. That's what's happening to you guys, for you, but not for them. And they mad about it, and they want to claim they intuitive without all that spiritual stuff. A lump sum of money is on the way. It could be coming in April. I'm getting taxes. Some of y'all may ta file your taxes last minute with that April, but you're going to get a lot of money. Yeah, you come from the stars, too. I'm hearing a karmic say that I'm from the stars, too. Okay, that's good. We all are. Karma, karma, karma is still coming from the stars on that ass, though, karmic. All right, listen, I feel like with this taste, I feel like that just confirming about I went out to eat with this karmic at Applebee's, and maybe y'all picked up on something. All right, they, I feel like they took somebody else out to eat to that same restaurant, Applebee's. Listen, you and your spiritual power, and they don't like it. Your spiritual power make you feel rooted and make you feel safe. All right, your spiritual power is also rooted. It's like rooted, it's stuck to you, like it's attached to you. Uh-uh, some of y'all could be on Instagram, TikTok. All right, well, I say uh-uh is because they can't detach you from your spiritual power. All right, somebody could be trying to hack into your Instagram and TikTok. That's wild. This karmic twin flame, he is not a, um, I'm sorry, he is not um a twin of yours. He is a false twin. All right, he want to say he's not a karmic twin. No, he's a karmic twin. Something about housing. All right, he want to be on your housing. All right, something about Haitian voodoo is significant. They was using Haitian voodoo against your crown, attacking your crown with Haitian voodoo. It could have been a Pisces. All right, you could be a Pisces, all right? Don't care about what they say because this karma don't care about what you say. Apparently, they saying that on social media. They don't care about what the fuck you got to say. They saying some shit. Y'all got a karmic father. A karmic mom could be teaming up against you, all right, because you're a spiritual rebel. You you going against whatever spirituality they follow. Okay, y'all could be seeing 555. All right, I'm, right, I'm going to stop at 10. Or 777. A street number 57 or 75. The I-75, okay, then maybe, I don't know, so I see somebody getting away on the I-75. I don't know, the karmic running from something. Pray to your angels, okay, and you're going to see divine confirmation through angel numbers. All right, I'm, I just saw inmate, all right, but it says immature male, all right, so this, in, this immature male may become an inmate, all right. You love yourself a lot. This is someone that's trying to say you, you trying to gain clout for yourself, like, when you talk about yourself in a positive way, like you love yourself, they say that's for clout. That's crazy. Your ex was selfish, and they're not even, and, and, and you had a selfish friend around you too, but your ex is not even a good friend. They're a selfish friend. All right, Golden Corral. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember I told y'all that story yesterday with the Golden Corral, and some of y'all laugh. Okay. Oh my God! But no, dead ass. Something, something about Golden Corral. I don't know. Somebody could be talking shit about Golden Corral. All right. I feel like a karmic and their friends go to Golden Corral. So who is talking shit about Golden Corral? Now this person who got exposed to talking shit about Golden Corral, I don't want to say they don't got a problem with it. You ready? Karmic and their friends are doing spells on you. At, listen, some of y'all could have went out to eat with this your person or this ex person. I feel like it'd be either or. Take out resident because a lot of y'all. Could have definitely moved on. All right. But some of y'all still manifesting new love, right? They was attacking you and you was on this date. Whenever y'all did go to Golden Corral, I'm seeing that. Y'all could have just went out to eat, posted a picture or some shit. They attacking you. Archangels are surrounding you while you was even at Golden Corral, wherever you was. All right. I'm getting an elf. All right. I feel like someone. I'm seeing like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm seeing the elf. A little, I'm seeing a little trickster energy. But it ain't harming nobody. I, I don't know why this elf is here. Somebody could be, like, tricking people on WhatsApp. Okay, they in their little elf energy. All right, well, elves, there's positive elves. Okay, you got the elven ones, the ones that help. We talked about that, right? But there's good and bad in everything. All right, we have God's energy here. Okay, I'm seeing good and bad in God's energy, light and dark in God's energy. But, like, y'all have a strong, clear psychic knowing. You can see in the light, the yin-yang, light, dark, and God's energy. Okay. Pray to your ancestors. I feel like your ancestors are confirming things to you. Oh wow. I just keep going and going. All right. Star ancestors are around you. You y'all keep praying because you're being surrounded by ancestors, archangels, star ancestors. You wanna know why you need to continue to pray or pray now? Because rituals are being done against you on your crown. Pray to your saints. Look, bad karma for sending you evil eye. But I was getting they're sending you bad karma. And it's coming from an evil eye energy. Like, they're evil on you, so they want you to have bad karma. They want to block your intuition. Like I said, some of y'all could have been feeling blocked intuitively. Even though energy came out good, y'all still could have been dealing with some blockages. All right? Warnings. 
All right, warning about that hacking energy for sure. All right, that's what I'm getting. All right, it's a karmic soulmate trying to hack into your social media, your files I'm hearing. He's claiming he's your twin flame soulmate. That man is a karmic or that woman's a karmic. Your happiness irritate them. It irates their soul here. It's spiritual narc bully. All right, I'm listening. What I just saw. All right, well, I'm seeing Santeria. Thought I saw Sagittarius. And in Sacramento, somebody could be in Sacramento. Some of y'all could be in a Sass in Sacramento. They doing Santeria on you, or someone is in Sacramento doing Santeria. All right, you could be a Taurus dealing with one. All right, Taurus, you could be getting attacked by someone that does Santeria here. They don't have to be in Sacramento. That's like a Pacific download. Some of y'all could be from there. Trust your intuition, though. If I mean, for some of you guys, some of y'all Taurus, if you don't want to trust me, that's fine. Trust your intuition. But you got some fake friends around you. So I feel like for some of y'all, you could have worn. Maybe a Taurus, or you could be a Taurus and you warned somebody, you have somebody around you, you had someone around you who you warned about their fake friends and they didn't want to, like, trust you. All right, take out a resume, you don't have to be a Taurus to be dealing with one. Just know you could have warned someone about their fake friends and they got mad at you. All right, Telegram. All right, oh, yeah, I can't see. I also saw Telemarketer. All right. I'm getting scams with telemarketing. Be careful. Someone may try to call you to scam you out of some money or something like that. Somebody could be trying to create this with magic. I mean, what is this? Creating with magic and then telegram. I mean, with that telemarketer. I feel like someone's almost like trying to manifest for you. I'm getting, I'm hearing to fail, but also manifest for you to like get scammed. All right. Or maybe someone is, you, you may know, trying to scam you through telemarketing or through telegram and they're hoping that. They're trying to manifest this, and, and, you know, they're hoping that it'll work. They don't have to be manifested with a candle on that part. It just could be they're manifesting it by just them creating that idea. All right? Yes. Listen, burn or burn a white candle. Burn two white candles. That came out twice. Burn a blue candle and a red. Look, red, white, and blue. Wow. Some of y'all, look at that. <laughs> My TV went black. Oh, wow. Okay, well, anyway. It falls asleep. But anyway... Some of y'all flag colors have red, white, and blue. Blue and red, or white and blue, or white or red. Okay, I think I resonate. All right, I'm telling you, somebody trying to create some nonsense. So protect yourself. Call on whatever saints or spirits that resonate with red, white, or, or blue. All right, I see a new car coming in. If y'all manifesting a new car, I see it coming in. All right, your third-year-old self is coming to you. You could, you could be a gamer. You could have been like three years old playing games. All right, you could have created your own mods. Before, all right, love yourself first. Somebody's doing love spells on you, so you won't love. So, so you, so you'll love them more than yourself, all right, because they know that you love yourself first. They know that you put yourself first over them. But I love you guys so much. I hope y'all ain't, ain't spooky out with that dark screen. I don't think so. <laughs> but I love y'all. Bye.